I'm Robert Stoichfisch, the Technology Officer for IO Consulting. Today we're going to talk about extending your higher ed environment using Application Admissions Web Services, or AAWS. Institutions today, to differentiate themselves, are seeing a need to provide better services to their constituents. One key element of providing better service is integration of the IT landscape. It does not matter where you sit at the table at your institution, you most likely have heard or have said that we need to provide better services. So what we're going to talk about today is how we've gone from a paper-based application process for a private institution to an online application process using AAWS. When we sit down at the table with you to create a solution, we sit down as a partner, not as just as a systems integrator. So what are we doing? We're leveraging web services, uh, a key piece of service-oriented architecture. And using that, those uh, integrations for service-oriented architecture, we're using the presentation level, business process level, and the data level of integration to uh, provide a better service and end result. So basically, the admissions module of Campus Solutions has always needed a robust integration process to be able to handle the, getting applicants into the system. AWS allows you to create an institution-centric user interface without having to customize the delivered functionality of this system. There are 11 web services provided with AWS. Six of them deal with uh, application processing. There are an additional three that are used for user authentication, user registration, getting a list of values, and then two additional ones for payment processing. Key benefits here, you have a secure interaction with your campus solution system through a UI that does not require direct database level calls. So how do we compose a targeted duet to create a better experience for the user and reduce manual paperwork handling? Basically, we took Campus Solutions 9.0 with AAWS and created a user interface that uses these web services. We use people tools for this interface. However, you could use any tool set that uses web services. In this example, we went live after one month. We had over 3,400 applications created online and 1,800 applications submitted. The biggest ROI that the institution saw from this was an increased applicant pool. So let's talk about AAWS in action. We're going to see a live demo here of AAWS in action and somebody coming in and working on an application. Here's a typical splash page from any university. On there, you're going to notice that there's going to be a link to the summer registration uh, sessions. So when you click that link, the UI comes up. You can see the top was for user registration, the bottom was authentication. So we're going to log in as a returning user who started an application and found that they needed to complete a portion that they weren't ready for. Once they logged in, the UI says, let's take a look at what apps are available that this person created and what their status is. And it pulls up the ones that we can edit. Here you can see that there's data present already in the application. This is the data that was pulled back from the web service based on this application already. Here you can capture any of the demographic information you need for your user interface. Any of your drop downs, you can use the list of values web service to be able to pull those values in. You can organize the interface to be in any format that you'd like. We organize this as to uh, look like the self-service module for students in, in Campus Solutions. We're going to come up here and the user is now going to attach a personal statement and that personal statement is going to be tied to that application once this processing is done. So once they're done attaching, they'll be able to review their attachment that they've added to this application. Uh, if they don't like it, they could delete it. If you have several different attachments that you need, you can process it into your UI that it could check to make sure all the required values that you need for your application have been taken care of before submission. This will reduce the amount of suspended applications that could be when you're processing. And once they're done and everything is satisfied, you can hit the submit button ready to be processed. 
and that submission can be set up as real time or in batch and you can see here that we have a success we show the user that they're going to be getting an email based on this information and then they're done and they log out so let's talk about how you process the submitted applications we're going to talk about processing on a batch format so here we're going to have the the application admissions person logging in so that they can process these applications. They're going to traverse to the application transaction processing run control and they're going to create a run control to be able to process the different uh, applications that are available. You, you can process any different set of uh, applications that you have created here that transactions. These transactions vary based on the different search match and different update rules that you have. You can process all the temporary um, applications that are in the staging tables or a particular one for a particular user. So let's talk about while this is running here what's going on, what, what we had occur at our client that went live. They had 3,400 applications started after one month, 1,800 of them submitted, 1,100 of those were matriculated and 350 of them registered for that session. Typically this registration period is a five month period. In that five months they normally process 2,000 applications manually, they were paper. So in one month's time they were able to process and matriculate almost the same amount of students that they processed in five months with the same number of staff and so they had an increase in their applicant pool. In addition because they had this data real time from the UI they were able to go back and look at those people who had started an application and hadn't completed it yet and were able to prospect through that and say hey we noticed that you started to apply for the summer session program that you but you didn't finish is there anything that we can do to help you out so they could start mining that information that was coming through immediately there's a functionality within AAWS that you can specify based on your application career program and plan that once that application is saved it doesn't have to be submitted it can be saved and be populated into the prospect tables to have that information available to you to be able to use so the process is almost done here we're going to now go over and take a look at the different transactions we're going to see two greens that were processed we're going to show two mike green and nick green mike green's id was updated with this new application and nick green's was added based on the search file match capability Mike Green's ID said hey this is the same person we have in our system so instead of creating a duplicate it just attached this application to Mike Nick it found that Nick doesn't exist in our system so it created a new Impel ID in the system and attached that uh, application to that Impel ID and you'll note the application number here and we're going to take a look at that application number and we're going to show that the data that was entered in through the UI uh, that we saw earlier is now part of the application. So any of the values that you could have in your typical application piece that you would enter in manually in the admissions module, you can have processed through the UI. It, you can have multiple phone numbers, multiple emails, multiple addresses based on the types that you have identified in there. So multiple rows of information are not a problem. You have, uh, you can use the list of values to be able to get um, approved org IDs for last schools attended or any other piece of that you'll notice here that the personal statement is here attached to this app like we saw earlier that he done so based on that you can see that this is a very powerful piece about this if you'd like more information about AWS you can contact us at info at io-consulting.com